what's up, Sammy here. Today we are going to take a look at the Redmi Note 7. The phone features a 6.3 inch water droplet screen display, 19.5 to 9 ratio, 2340 by 1080 resolution. The screen looks not bad. On the back, it features a gradient color, a fingerprint scanner, dual rear camera. It's a bit protruding though, and the 2.5D glass, the same as the display. They are the fifth generation from Corning Gorilla. However, the middle frame is made of plastic material. It has support in the bottom. On the top, you can find a 3.5mm headphone jack and a infrared blaster. Check out the new logo as well. Now, let's check a little bit more about the dual rear camera. It features 48 megapixel plus 5 megapixel sensor. The main CMOS is the GM1 from the Samsung. The same size as MX 586. The single pixel size is 0.8 micrometer. It supports 4 in 1 picture combining technology and the super handheld animal. However, our device is a prototype and not available yet. It will be updated later through firmware. Let's just check more samples. During the daylight, the exposure and the analysis of the photo is accurate looks sharp. When we zoom in on the 48 megapixel photo, we can see more clear details on the subject. This is way better than the 12 megapixel pictures. Overall, the performance during the daylight is awesome, though from the hardware perspective, it cannot produce 48 megapixel photos directly. But with the effort of AI algorithms, the pictures are not bad at all. For nano photos, as you know, these photos were not taken under the super nano mode. It looks clean. No obvious noise though. It has good balance control on the highlight part and the dark part. Overall, for the phone around $150, the camera is unbeatable. Now move to the hardware, it supports Snapdragon 660 AIE. The Android benchmark score is around 144K. When playing games like The Glory of the King, the frames most of the time keeps at 60 frames per second, even in highest quality. Few times drops to 57 frames. It's smooth in PUBG as well. For the chipset, there's literally nothing more to say about it. It has no problem to handle what this daily task is. The battery that comes with the phone is 4000 milliamp, supports 18 voltage fast charge, but there's only a 10 voltage charge included. You can spend another $2 to get the fast charge. At the same time, the phone doesn't support wireless charging and NFC, and of course, 5G. You know, the in house name for the Note 7 in Xiaomi is Xiao Jinggang, means it's very durable. As you may know, I have posted some of the tests from Xiaomi on my Facebook page, some review before. So if you haven't liked it, please give it a like. Why not give it a little try now? impression of the Redmi Note 7. Special thanks to Evan Tech. I put all the links in the description. Make sure to check them out. I'm Sammy. See you next time.